Hi guys, and welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Rimas. I run a digital marketing agencies. We help mainly treatment centers and other uh, players in the medical field. But this channel is not about that. This channel is sharing my entrepreneurial journey, sharing my daily struggles or my learnings, or sharing everything that could uh, help you get where I'm right now faster than I was. Why am I doing this? Well, uh, I've also followed advice from people who were uh, ahead of me in the game and it helped tremendously. And I know that sometimes uh, you tend to get advice from people who are closer to your, uh, to your actual position right now in the entrepreneurial game so, because this is why I did uh, what I did, right? I, I didn't listen from advice from like billionaires. I listened from millionaires uh, when I was uh, starting out, and I think you should be doing the same. But that's a whole nother, a whole nother topic. Today, I want to talk about something that I have uh, came to realize and learn. Um, to be honest too late, but uh, it's never too late, right? As they say it. Uh, so this is something that I want to tell, uh, tell about, uh, uh, talk, talk to, talk about uh, in this video today. Um, and this is the secret, like air quotes, like big air quotes, because there's no secret, there's no hidden uh, treasure here. But it's how, what I call the secret to happiness, right? It's this simple equation. It's a division, actually. It's between haves and so you have haves divided by wants <clears throat> so this is the equation right how many haves you have and how many wants you want right so you divide the two and it gives out how happy you are there's no scale for it so uh, it doesn't mean like two you're miserable ten you're uh, the most happiest person ever so it's not like that uh, the number that you get by dividing into is actually like a reference, like how happy you are, right? And you can be infinitely happy. And how can an equation give you like infinity? It's by uh, making a simple change to it. But I'll get there in one second. So the thing is with haves and wants, uh, there's this equation, right? Like I said, like how many haves? It's haves divided by wants. And most people, they chase the haves, right? In an attempt to have more haves, whatever that is. It can be like material possessions. It can be uh, spiritual things like relationships or uh, be that with a person or with God. Uh, it can be uh, like whatever matters to you, that's a half. Or it can also be a want if you don't have it yet, right? So people chase after this, uh, these haves to have more stuff stuff, right? And in an attempt to uh, get a greater number out of that equation, right? Because that's what you would do, right? Uh, you would just increase uh, the number ahead divided by uh, a constant want. And this is a big mistake. They think that once they have all the things they want right now, they won't, they will not need anything more, right? So the want would stay constant, air quotes, uh, whereas the, the haves would increase, thus giving them a, a bigger number, a bigger output, so they'll be more happier. Uh, well, that's not really the case because we all know, and I'm sure you've experienced this in your life before, uh, the more things you have, the more things you want. Okay, so let's take an example, material possession, because it's simpler this way. Uh, you really wanted that new um, Jaguar, right? So you got it. <clears throat> now it's not a want, it's a have. So theoretically speaking, you have less wants, more haves, thus the more happier you are. But guess what? Probably that's the case for a month or two, let's say a year tops. But next year, uh, next month, next week, whatever, you want a Rolls Royce, or you'll want a Lamborghini, or you'll want the new model of that Jaguar, right? Whatever it is, you'll want that, even though you have the Jaguar, which means that your happiness was limited 
uh, to a specific time frame. Thus, if you chase the haves, you'll never truly reach like ultimate happiness and be happy with whatever you have, right? Uh, so the goal here is to go after the ones and minimize the ones, uh, make them as close as possible uh, to zero or even make them zero. What does it mean? Like it, it means that in that moment, no matter what you have, you're infinitely happy. If you divide that by zero, you don't want anything. Like uh, you're not like, you don't want the new car, you don't want the new house, you don't want uh, <clears throat> this or that, whatever it is, right? And not wanting anything makes you infinitely more happy. And it stays for good because not one thing, it's a state of mind. Whereas having and once we already discussed that, uh, it's a limited time period uh, between the two, right? So the point here is not to say that money is not important because I do not believe that. I do believe that money is important and money can buy uh, things that will make your life more comfortable, thus make you more happy. So I do believe that money is very important. I'm not saying otherwise. Uh, also, I do believe in chasing your goals. So if your goal is to have a healthy, happy relationship uh, and that might be a want, do not cross that off your list and stay in a shitty relationship just because I said so. No, uh, just use your brain to think about this kind of things, right? But the problem occurs when uh, you want something that you already have, but uh, you are not grateful for the thing you have, so you're chasing the new shiny th object, new shiny whatever, and it's this perpetual chasing the cat thingy, right? Um, like the perfect example was Jaguar and Rolls Royce, right? You have the Jaguar, you want the Rolls Royce. Uh, is that a goal or is that a want, right? Because if that's a goal, like you would want to reach, like let's say, uh, $20 million net worth so you can afford a Rolls Royce, right? Uh, that's a goal. You should go after that one. Will you buy a Rolls Royce then? I don't know, but the goal should not be the Rolls Royce. That's what I'm trying to convey here. So uh, I'm not going to make this video uh, any longer. Uh, I, I, I'm, I try to keep them under 10 minutes. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Uh, this one, I hope it, it's uh, it's been under 10 minutes. The thing is, always remember, guys, it's halves divided by ones, and that gives you an output. And uh, the closer to infinity that output is, so the less ones you have, uh, the happier you are. Uh, this being said, I really hope this helped you out. And if it did, uh, please comment down below what topic uh, should I cover next? Because this is the most important thing to me to really give back and help you out. And in knowing what things you're interested in, it helps me uh, create better videos for you guys. Till next time.